Hello, this is HG Daily, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Instead of actually heading over to Troya, let's go exploring the world and try to get some better equipment for us, especially for Sid, because he didn't come with a whole lot. They don't give you weapons in jail, unfortunately. It's bad policy. Oh well. But anyway, okay, so let's take a look around the town of Mithril. What do they got around here? Let's find out. Well, okay. It's a town of midgets, apparently. What could they possibly have around here that would be of interest? Well, they got items that cure the piggy status. So, it's about time we got something like that. Okay, how's it going? You must take after your father, then. I mean, uh, uh, you're just tiny, that's all. Ah, oh, well, sorry, not much I can do there. The inn here is pretty expensive, too, so I wouldn't even bother with it. Not that we really need it. By the way, one thing that I did off-screen was I sold a whole lot of my excess equipment. So, if you notice, that's why I have a whole lot more gill than I did the last time. Mostly from selling the Ancient Sword. That sells for a lot of money. Oh, that's good to know. Take a look at the weapon shop when I get there. And yeah, there's some more new treasure here that wasn't in the... Oh, the 2D version of the game. So you want to look out for everything. Let's see. We got Mithril Staff. Alright. But I'm going to sell that, unlike the uh, 2D version of the game because, uh, what is it? The healing staff actually gives you better spirit than the mithril staff does now. But anyway, got a mithril knife, awesome. Oh, oh okay, I'll keep an eye out for that. Let's see, those guys are just dancers. Nothing uh, interesting there. Ooh, lots of money. Okay, I think that's all the treasure we can get here. So anyway, let's see what they got to Oh, this is the item shop. I thought this was the weapon shop. Whoops. But they do sell, they do sell status curing items here. So, it's pretty nice. Eh, I can't get my voice that high pitched today. Oh well. But what I do want to get here, here we go. The Mithril Hammer for Sid there. One nice thing about hammers in this version of the game is that they are no longer two-handed weapons. Yes, so Sid will actually be able to equip shields for a change. I mean, it, it seems, it just boggles my mind in the 2D versions of the game that they give him the ability to equip shields, but every weapon he can equip is a two-handed weapon. So it's like, why would you do that? So they changed that in this version of the game, and I like that. I mean, go one way or the other. Don't just give them the ability to equip shields and then not make them useful. Oh yeah, I do want to get two of them, though, because now Sid can equip them as well. I also want to get two Mithril Hounds, and then just one piece of Mithril Armor and Mithril Gloves, partially because I can't afford anything else, but also more than that, the Mithril, or no, the Knight's Armor and Gauntlets contribute to your spirit stat, which, well, being a white magic user, would be really useful for Cecil. The headgear, or the Lustrous Helm, and the Lustrous Shield don't. So, yeah, I'd rather just equip those two on Cecil. Don't worry about the armor and the gloves there. Uh, let's just optimize for Sid there, give him all the uh, good Mithril gear there. And now that he actually has some defense, Let's change around the party setup. Let's uh, swap rows there. Cecil in the middle there. Yang there. Tella back there. So that ought to do pretty nice. So yeah, as, as if it isn't obvious enough, uh, Sid is a melee fighter or tank. So uh, let's see. We do want to sell the Lustrous Helm. I would definitely, definitely hold on to the Lustrous Shield for Cecil because it has some really nice um, status protections on it that we can't get anywhere else. Mithril Knife we can sell, Staff we can sell, let's see, Wooden Hammer you definitely want to hold on to for later as well. But yeah, that's one thing that I'm, uh, well, I should let you know about, that I'm not going to list shields in the video description for extra equipment to hold on to for later, because, well, if I did that, they would 
clutter up the whole thing. Basically, from now on, hold on to all the shields that you ever get, because they, most of them have some unique status protections, and they'll be really useful down the road. And, well, yeah, so there it is. But anyway, let's go head on over to Troya here. It's northwest of Baron, if you just wanted to go straight here, but well, I took a roundabout way of getting over here. See what's going on with the Earth Crystal around here. Did they tell us what crystal they have here? I think they did. Well, if I didn't, now you know. I like what they did with the music here, too. Give it a little bit of a Celtic feel, you know? Okay, sounds like a plan. Yeah, I thought I'd just let you guys hear the music a little bit. What is this, an army of the Amazons? Or did you do away with your men altogether? Hmm. Well, when the bombs start falling from the sky, we'll see how well you guys handle it! Haha! <laughs> oh! Yeah, Shield Maiden's pretty good in uh, Hearthstone. But, uh, yeah, they're not dancers. Well, I suppose it makes sense when you can shove a lightning bolt up your ass. You know, heavy armor, not really gonna help you when bad guys can do that sort of thing. Oh, well, what happens if one of them dies or gets sick or something like that? Well, you'll have to find out in the next game, viewers. This game, not so much. Nuts. Well, at least Golbez can't get it. But I suppose we do kind of need it back. Hmm. Oh, so that's why Golbez isn't going after it. Couldn't you just, like, send some monsters in there? Or get some plastic armor? Or something? Maybe ceramic? Okay, check it out. But if you notice, the island there is completely covered with forest. And, well, unfortunately, our airship can't land in the forest there. So, <laughs> erected. Sounds like a plan. I'll just uh, drop it off and then uh, take it off with it then. Is that okay? What are we going to do with it, anyway? I mean, besides exchange it for Rosa. Nuts. Oh, well. Well, let's take a look around. Oh, you know, I thought someone said something around here. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Kind of glossed over it. Huh, really? Well, I suppose after the bombing there... Or... Nah. Nah, that, that, that can't possibly be true. Well, you are kind of right next door to them. And they do have an army of airships that can kind of come here at any time they want. But, oh well. Well, so far so good for you. Oh, okay. Who is it? Hey, hey, Edward! You're alive! Sort of. I thought JRPGs had... Heroes had plot immunity. You spoony bard. Well, it was kind of the bombs and the arrows and everything. Well, at least with all that light armor that they got around here, they can run really fast. She's swimming with the fishes now. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Yeah, 
yeah, what's going on? Oh, yeah, that just happened last time. I was kind of there. Well, you were kind of there. What's up? Oh, what is it? Weed? You're giving me weed? Well, I suppose it's for medicinal purposes. Both literally and figuratively. Do the best I can. Oh, you know, I forgot the character thoughts when we first come in here. Well, maybe I can uh, reload my save file and show it to you at the end. Well, I'll do the best I can. And to hell with her. She's gone. Well, yeah, I, I kind of noticed that. Maybe you should put your harp somewhere where you can actually put it to use, Edward. Just in case. You never know. They'll be coming for you, Edward. Okay, that's a lie, but they might. So where's all the men at? The pub? Getting drunk? And anyway, let's see. If you go to the left there, there's a treasury there, but you can't get in there right now. So, don't worry about it. Instead, let's raid the booze. Why not? Actually, box wine is pretty good. We'll want to hold on to that for later. Pretty nice for getting berserk on your uh, melee fighters there. And we can get some more treasure. Alright. Fortunately, unlike the 2D versions of the game, you don't have to step on a stupid floor switch. Like what? Four times in order to open up all these things? Well, the, the, these doors were locked in the 2D version of the game. So now we can just kind of walk in and take what we want. So, get some ruby rings. You don't need to have those, but you might as well. Uh, speaking of which, the uh, like they were saying about the Dark Elf's cave there, uh, there's a magnetic field there. So you can't equip anything that's metallic or you'll be paralyzed. It's a specific status, metallic paralysis. So, ribby rings are the only piece of arm gear that we have at this point in the game that is non-metallic. So, you could use that if you wanted to. Unlike the 2D versions of the game, it's not that critical, but it would be nice. Now, I'm, I'm going to talk to all the people around here eventually and collect some treasure, but I just want to advance a side quest here today. What's going on? Oh, yeah. sorry, Cecil. It's the hair. Well, what about replaying all the awesome music in this game? Nuts. What does extricate mean, anyway? I mean, I can figure it out from what he's saying there, just from the context, but I've never heard that word before. Okay, sure, why not? You're dating a bartender. That's great. Not not that there's anything wrong with that. I, I think that is great. But anyway, yeah, so to advance the naming way side quest, we gotta talk to him there, and then talk to the barkeep here. <laughs> you still have to leave that in here, really, game? Couldn't you have had him order some booze or something? Or a lemonade, or something? Maybe some scope? Or, wait a minute, that's not an alcoholic beverage. Well, I mean, it does have alcohol in it, but you know what I mean. You usually don't drink it for that purpose. Hey, hey, all right, he made it. Naming way the ladies, man. Oh, okay. So that's what they're doing with all the music. Sounds like a plan. Now, for the next part of the side quest, you don't have to do it now, but I'm going to anyway. 
because, well, I have something that I want to do with that. So let's head on out and do that. There's, like I said, there's a whole bunch of treasure around here. I'll take care of that later, not right now. I just want to uh, do this one part of the side quest right now. And in order to do it, well, we gotta go to the south. So we go back to Baron, get southeast, and then straight south, and I believe that will take us where I want to go. And eventually I'll clear the whole world map, but you don't get any items for it. I forget if that's part of the uh, Treasure Hunter augment, because you get that augment when you clear all the maps. I don't know if the world maps count for that, though. But anyway, you go to this town, Agart, and you go over here, and the naming way is here. How's it going? How'd you get over here, anyway? What kind of pudding? Don't answer that, viewers. So which one did you stay with? Oh, really? How hard could it possibly be? <laughs> but actually... Yeah, this is one of the big problems with this side quest, is that in order to advance it, you need a rainbow pudding, which is like a 1 in 250 drop. It's something ridiculous like that. There is a better way to get it way later in the game, like the very end. So if you want to wait until then, you could. But I kind of want to do this as I go throughout the game. If you don't want to, you don't have to. The augments that you get out of it are not that critical. And my setups don't depend on it. I mean, I do have it in my notes, but you don't have to do this part. But I'm going to anyway. In order to get a rainbow pudding, the best place to do it would be here. At, at least at this point in the game. At the Antlion Cave on the second basement level. If you go there, like at, le at least half the battles are going to be with four of those uh, yellow flans there. So you could have Yang kick them all with the, uh, what is it, with the Thunder Claws, or you could use, uh, like, Thunder from Tella there, or you could use, let's see, like, Zeus's Wraths if you wanted to. Another thing you could do is with Cecil's Counter, you could also, instead of ha having Attack there, you could put the Zeus's Wrath there instead, so that way whenever he gets attacked and counters, he'll automatically use the Zeus's Wrath. Because, well, your physical attack's probably not going to do too much, except, like, Yang's kick there. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much the only way to deal with them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try really, really, really hard to win one of those. It's going to take hours for me to do this off-screen. So what I'm going to do is off-screen, uh, I'm going to reset my game every 15 minutes or so, so that way I don't get too over-leveled. But I do want to gain a couple levels, because even at this point, we're pretty under-leveled. The enemies in the upcoming areas are going to be like levels 25 to 30 or something. So, yeah, we're pretty underpowered here, actually. And they will kill you if you don't have the right preparation. So, like I said, I'm going to try really hard to get the rainbow pudding. If my patience runs out, well, okay, sorry, but I'll, I'll do the best I can. Can I win the rainbow pudding for myself? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.